How would you get the insurance companies out of the national health care equation? By replacing them completely. That's what Medicare did for the elderly until it had a gap, and then there was a Medicare gap. But the principle of Medicare was, for the elderly in the mid-60s, uh, was that you could not rely on the health insurance industry to provide uh, adequate coverage for older people. They had an incentive, the health insurance companies, to deny claims to make profit. It's a perverse incentive. It's actually a structured failure of the market system. And uh, so Medicare replaced uh, it's government insurance with private delivery by doctors and hospitals and your free choice. But they didn't have a complete Medicare and this gap emerged when people started buying, you know, private health insurance to supplement Medicare. And now both parties are involved, and the Republicans more than the Democrats, in perforating Medicare and uh, subsidizing with your tax dollars uh, insurance companies drawing elderly people into their Medicare Advantage plans and out of Medicare. They give them a 12% bonus, and the Democrats let that go through, just like they let the war go through. They could have stopped it. They could have stopped the tax cuts for the wealthy. When you, when you are in the Senate and you have over 40 votes, as Matt Gonzalez pointed out, you can stop anything. You could stop Alito, you could have stopped Roberts, you could have stopped uh, Clarence Thomas. Uh, Clarence Thomas was, uh, confirmed with 11 Democratic senators crossing the aisle at a time when the Democrats controlled the Senate. And Scalia was confirmed 98 nothing. We would oppose all these nominees. I'd go up to the Senate. I'd beg people like Kennedy, Gore, Sarbanes, just vote against Scalia. I mean, just for the record, that there's one or two votes. And he never hid his reactionary philosophy under a barrel. He flaunted it at the confirmation hearings. And you know what the vote was? 98 to nothing. So th 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 this is the weak-kneed um, Democratic Party who has lost its sense of identity and then blames some Green Party candidates for jeopardizing Supreme Court nom nominees. Uh, that's, uh, you know, they, they could have stopped all these things. You want to measure the Democratic Party, not just what they declined to propose in advance by what they refused to stop. They refused to initiate impeachment proceedings or impeachment hearings or investigations of Bush and Cheney since they took office in January 2007. I mean, what, what kind of party is this? This is a party, this is a party that's primarily, with a few luminous exceptions, like Waxman, Feingold, Kennedy, and others, this is a party interested above all in its self-perpetuation, no matter how much it's decaying, no matter how much it turns its back on the American people, no matter how much it betrays its finest historic moments in decades past. And we're gonna say to the American people, let's vote for the least worst. You know, there comes a time, doesn't there, when the least worst is just not good enough anymore? <laughs>